Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to use the Alloy by Tether frontend to mint AUSDT tokens and provide Tether Gold tokens as collateral. To start, a brief introduction on what Alloy by Tether is. Alloy by Tether is the first tethered asset that allows users to mint AUSDT tokens, which is meant to track closely its reference price of $1 by providing Tether Gold tokens as collateral and by backing each alloy by Tether tokens with more than $1 worth of gold. To start the process, make sure you have a verified wallet and a verified wallet address. To do so, make sure to complete your KYC on, on the Tether platform and to submit your desired alloy by Tether wallet to be verified and to be whitelisted to interact with the alloy by Tether contracts. There are multiple ways of interacting with the alloy by Tether contract if you hold a verified wallet, you can do so directly through Etherscan, or you can use a more user-friendly experience on the Alloy by Tether frontend. To start, head over to alloy.tether.to, connect your wallet. In this case, I am connecting my MetaMask wallet used on a, on a testing network. Once done, the frontend allows me to click on Start Minting and brings me here to this uh, minting page where most of the interactions with the smart contracts will actually happen. In this case, let's say that I am willing to provide 50 XAUT tokens as collateral and mint 30,000 AUSDT. If I input the desired number in the front end, the UI tells me that my position grows from zero to 50 XAUT. My minted balance grows from zero to 30,075 AUSDT because it's also including the 25 bips mint fee that is required for every alloy by Terra mint. It's also telling me that my mint to value ratio grows from 0 to 25.47%, uh, resulting in a liquidation price of 802 US dollar per XAUT tokens. This is well below the liquidation point of 75%, bringing my mean to value ratio to low. Uh, if the price was to fall from 2,361 US dollar per XAUT tokens down to 802 US dollar per XAUT token, my position would be subject, subject to liquidation and a verified liquidator would be able to come in and re return all of my AUSDT tokens, withdrawing all of my collateral, basically liquidating my positions. Once I am confident and happy that all of these inputted numbers are what I wanted to do, I can just click on Add Collateral and Mint AUSDT. I can sign the first transaction that allows the Alloy by Tether smart contracts to spend my XAUT tokens, and then I can submit uh, the first on-chain transaction, which will be the actual depositing and minting of, the, of my position. Here, as you can see, the transaction is confirmed on-chain, on and I have my 50 XAUT tokens deposited as collateral, as well as my 30,075 AUSDT minted. I now have these uh, 30,000 AUSDT tokens in my wallet. The minting fee is not in my wallet because I already paid it, and I can do whatever I please with them. I can go around and buy stuff, I can trade with it, I can save in it, and I can uh, use it to buy more gold if I wanted to increase my gold position. Once done, there's multiple things I can do. Let's say that I want to reduce my liquidation price. One of the things I can do is I can add more collateral. In this case, as you can see, I am adding 10 more XAUT tokens, which is allowing me to reduce my liquidation price from $800 to give or take $670. Another thing that I can do if I wanted to reduce my liquidation price is I can go on my return page, and I can return some of the USDT that I have minted. In this case, similarly to before, you can see that my liquidation price goes from 802 all the way down to 535.33 US dollar. If I was to submit this transaction, my liquidation price would be reduced, and my mean to value ratio would be reduced as well, making my position safer and further away from liquidation. Uh, let's now see what I should do if I wanted to close my whole position. Uh, the first thing is that I will want to withdraw all of my deposited collateral, in this case 50, and I'm going to be returning all of the minted AUSDT. The UI correctly tells me that my collateral will go from 50 to 0, and my minted amount will go from 30,075 all the way down to 0 as well. My mint to value ratio will be 0 because I will no longer have an open position. My liquidation price also goes to 0, and I will also be paying an additional 75 AUSDT, as a return fee. It's important to know that in order to close the position entirely, you are going to have to acquire some AUSDT from the secondary market, for example, buying 
them from a centralized exchange like Bitfinex. Once you do have enough AUSDT to cover for your minted position plus the fees, you can go to the return page, fill it up, clicking on the max buttons, and then simply click on the return AUSDT and remove collateral button. Once I do that, my uh, MetaMask is triggered. The first transaction allows me to uh, allows the smart contracts to spend my AUSDT, and the second transaction allows me to actually submit the return and withdraw of all the collateral. And once it's confirmed by the network, as you can see, the collateral amount is zero, the minted is zero, and I no longer have I'm an open minted position. On my, in my wallet, I have all of the XAUT tokens I deposited as collateral back, and I have no longer any AUSDT because I use them all to repay. Once this process is complete, my address will no longer have an open <coughs> collateralized minted position on Alloy by Tether, and I can open one whenever I want again by going on the mint page and doing the process all over again. I hope this tutorial was useful and simple to understand, and uh, I'm looking forward to see you all uh, interacting with Alloy by Tether on the front end.